I could go back. That am I. Party paradigms. Um, that's it, that's it. Actually, it's I need to. Oh, uh, double sentinel. Rejecting the easy path, humanity has chosen to build. Hang on, what does this one say? And memory, frozen and crystal. A young man called No appears in the village at the same time as a mysterious time gate. He claims to be from the future and to have met lightning. He says she is still alive somewhere beyond the gate. After much soul searching, Sarah decides to trust No and follow him into the portal. So begins her quest to once again be reunited with her sister. Rejecting the easy path, humanity has chosen to build a society based on human technology rather than relying on the Falci. A provisional government has replaced the Sanctum and a scientific organization calling itself the Academy searches ruins for ancient technological secrets. One such site is on the shores of Lake Brescia, where a giant war weapon has been unearthed. Reaching for the future, we sometimes fall into the past as we gaze upon events that cannot be changed. Our hearts grow bitter with regret. And you, my dear Sarah, will you encounter your past here? How will you choose to deal with that pain? Oh, here we go. This is Cocoon. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, check it out. You can see the ground above us. Wow, so this is how Cocoon looks from the inside. That's right, I forgot. This is your first time here. Yep. Paradox Alpha. Well, that was simple. Uh, above you. Uh. 
Wow, perfect. Hey, Silver Gear. That was exciting. Guess it's over. Huh? It's the army. Go, go. Oh, friends of yours? I'm not even controlling it. They're lay they're making me move on my own. There's something about this world that's different from mine. Let's see what Noel thinks. What do you make of this paradox effect? paradox effect? Remember the weirdness near your village when the meteorite fell? Probably the same kind of thing. You're going straight to Academy HQ. They'll drag the truth out there. I'm hungry. Uh, when do we eat? You think this is some kind of joke, hot shot? Not at all. You two came up on the Grand Elevator? Huh? The Grand what? Sarah, what's he talking about? He could be talking about the elevator that's supposed to connect Cocoon and Pulse, but it's still being built. It's going to be finished next year. You're confused, man. It was done last year. Uh, uh, last year? I remember it. my memory be messed up somehow? Okay, Sarah, let me explain. The elevator that was under construction in your time is up and running, which means this must be the world of the future. Got it? Huh? Is that you? Oh. Hey, watch yourself. Thanks. Oh, Sarah, it is you. You know them? I'm an academy intern. I heard you apprehended our two observers, so here I am. Observer? Yes, they're invited guests of the academy. I was showing them around and forgot to give them their communicators. Back up a second. Uh, these guys, uh, these observers, are VIPs? Uh oh. He looks like he. Uh, I hope we can forget about this little mix up. Strange world, stranger events, unfamiliar faces. Oh, that's the bad nature. rain. They speak of anomalies, a strange energy that warps time itself. Things that shouldn't exist here are appearing near the gates. Things that shouldn't happen are happening. They call this phenomenon the paradox effect. And if you think about it, 
That term could apply to our existence in this age as well. Lightning. How will I find you when I don't even know when or where I'll end up next? Rain. Oh. I'll supply you both with comm devices. Right this way, please. Uh, thank you for your help. I was just wondering, hmm? have we met before? Oh, no. Sorry about all that observer nonsense back there. Lucky for us, that soldier was so quick to believe me. Well, what's your story? So, what's your story? I'm Alyssa Zidell, an Academy trainee. And this is where I'm going to make my big discovery. That's not what I meant. What do you want with us? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to tell you yet. You'll just have to trust me. <laughs> right this way, please. Bye. You'll need an ID to travel any further into the ruins. Here, take this communicator and keep it with you at all times. All right. So I'm curious. Yeah? Just why are you helping us anyway? I saw you two. I saw how you got here through that thing. What? You mean through the gate? Yes. It is a kind of gate. It links to another world, doesn't it? Lufu, nice to finally have some clue what these things are for. So basically, helping us out was almost like part of your research. But you still have questions. I do have questions, yes. About the gate and about the paradox. Yeah. But with Atlas throwing his weight around, the ruins will be closed off and there goes the chance to get your answers. No. Go go go. <laughs> no problem. We'll take care of that giant for you. You will? Great! Hey, we can change leader now. There are two types of gates that exist in the world. The ones that shine like the sun have been blessed by the goddess and require a special artifact. The crystal gates require um, wild artifacts that can be attained in many locations in time. However, the artifacts are consumed with each use. Forge gates are the ones most recently used by Sarah Knoll. Travel to that location. Approach them and press A to record. Paradox's Atlas, a massive humanoid war machine found within the crystal ruins, and it began an uncontrollable rampage when the Paradox was faced Only the left hand of Atlas was uncovered. The rest of its invisible body is sought to different space time. Despite being excavated in the ruins of the ancient city, the technology that powers the giant is far beyond the capabilities of the age. Researchers theorize that Atlas is actually a man-made weapon pulled to the present from some future time period. Treasure ruins and purge. No. And our favorite ability, wounding. Can change it up a little bit. The outfit goes with his. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh! Chocobocalina! Welcome, get your traveling products here at Chocolina's Emporium. The beauty's all mine, but the products can be yours, but only if you show me the money. This might be a once-in-a-lifetime chalk-amazing opportunity, so don't miss out. I've never seen anyone like you before. 
Who are you? And what do you have for sale? I thought you'd never ask. Oh, Chocolina is a mysterious traveling merchant who appears all along the timeline. She offers a variety of items to aid travelers with the right components and a craftier's fee. Chocolina can even create special weapons and equipment. When browsing the shop menu for items, Chocolina has the required components as well as significant Look at accessories. Yeah, uh, I know all about that. I know all of it. It's Just buy it all. Buy it all. Buy, buy, and buy. Because we have the money. Oddly enough, we do have the money. Oh, is this... It is. I was wondering where the weapons were. Leave a microphone. This stuff. Silkskin's diary. I'm. Go more damn. Whoa, these are kind of broken. Set of headphones from which you heard it. Oh, uh, guilt earn. Gods will be painting the bar. Oh my god. This changes a few things. Yeah, all the items that you just saw. They didn't appear when I, um... Huh. Whoa, we can advance them? Whoa. Huh. Eh? Okay. Delicate that. These are oh, that one would be a better one. Talk about tail feather. Have a fantabulous day. All those items before I did the um content patch because I. I did not appear at all. So those accessory items that I was just looking at. They all were cut out of the game. They're still in the game files. But they cannot be gained in the game unless you use the patch to open the doorway to them. Which we had. And it's not a patch by Square Enix. It's a patch designed by a by a group of people. So, yeah, this is gonna make my life a lot easier. To be honest, because with that, what is it? Oh, don't need go. Items. Odds of items. Thirty-five left. Oh no way! They they do do it. 
Rare items. Oh, why not? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, but um, Libra having Libra on the board will. Why did you offer to stop the giant? Because we can't let Atlas shut this place down. We need to search the ruins. There might be other gates we can use. Like the gate to Valhalla? Exactly. And how can I take you to Lightning without those handy dandy portals? Right. We'll do it your way. Exactly. The rain isn't artificial. It's the real thing. Yeah, but ow. We're supposed to be inside cocoon, so how is it? Here we're using a zone. Oh, wait. I hear they're building tractors and weapon factories because industrial production is lacking. Hmm. Did you hear about the new head of the investigation? Listen to this. Apparently, it's someone Alyssa's age. You're kidding! What are they? Some kind of genius? Well, they probably are. The Academy must have seen their potential right away. They're in charge of an entire department. That's incredible! Really? Ah, the gate. At least we know where that is. What's that? Leaving gates. Oh. I'm researching Atlas's power source. Okay. It's my turn to cook today. Hope you're not a picky eater. Not me. I'm used to eating some pretty bad food. Oh, excuse me. Don't make fun of my cooking until you've had a bite. <laughs> Atlas has the ability to appear and disappear randomly. Its main physical component actually exists elsewhere. Maybe it's not a different location, but a different time. That's entirely possible. The paradox can bend time and space. We asked the army for help with this investigation. It seemed like the only reasonable thing. That's the one thing I do not like about this rain. Oh, I can't do that yet. I don't have... You need to give me your ability. Better go unlock that now. Oh yeah, I forgot to take the weapons out. Yeah! What? The monster turned into crystal! Servant of time, daughter of chaos, unto the world unseen, the untamed you guide. <laughs> what do you know? It talks. 
Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Guide the untamed? The power over monsters, Kubo. Over monsters? Now that you mention it, Lightning had monsters fighting with her in battle. You can do the same, Kubo. Okay. This power, can you show me how it works? I want to learn how to protect myself. Might as well start now. Kubo? <laughs> You have attained a monster crystal. New functions have been added to the party paradigm and the crystarium. Now you can now access monsters in the main menu. Yeah, it's pretty much your third teammate can be your third your third um party member can be a monster. Uh, customize. Oh, terrible. Yeah, create the pack. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Doing statuses. I'm still. Back. Painting, painting the crystal. Which reminds me, in order to attain a crystal, it's better to use our feral link ability, which is that is. Oh yeah, now we got the ability information. Oh, it was. It was. It was even a warm up. Now we have that. So now we have. Like if you know how the Paragon system works, pretty much you can um you can break the game very easily, even without being overpowered at the beginning. Okay. It just means you'll be able to do things much faster. Sort of disappear. Probably another paradox side effect. Leave it to 
me. Ah, here we are. Occasionally, you'll come across pressure spheres or other objects that are out of phase with current timeline. Did you notice any objects hidden by a strange shimmering aura? Press um right button. And ask Bog to work his magic. The paradox effect of the idiot vicinity will be dispelled and you will then be able to access the now tangible object. Over there, Mark. Ooh. Wild artifact. Where? Oh. We got him. Don't worry. Oh. I I know where it is. It's over here. Hey, I got Gremlin. I know it's buzzing. We can get anything more interesting. different time periods if that's true the timelines must be pretty tangled Alyssa, when did these portals first appear well no one can say for sure it's like they'd always been there and one day we finally noticed so they took everyone by surprise either that or someone's been hiding them what are these gates anyway They're really useful portals. These portal things are useful as heck. You can travel to the past or the future as easy as walking through a door. Uh, no. I'm not sure I can tell if you're being serious or not.
Ah! Whoa! Oh, I got the crystal! Oh! Okay. The Pulse Knight. Oh, it's a... Oh. That's really interesting. Yeah, those are the things you have to be careful of, too. You have to be you have to know which ones to take with you depending on their jobs and stuff It does suck. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, God, I keep forgetting to do that, too. Um. Oh, the more monster. Attached to the blade blade. A howling soul. Slightly increased chain bonus for tanks. Great plus. Oh, but I like the look of that one. Yeah. Five, forty-seven, forty-nine. 47, 49. I like, I like the, uh, the fact that the ATP, because we're not doing much right now. Fight strike. I said, we're not doing much right now. Oh, I like that. I do like that. Asriel. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, what's wearing that? What is? Yeah. Perfectly fine. Yeah. Now that one might be different. From... That's a commando. 60... 60... 45. Oh, wait! I just changed... Oh, boy.
Oh. That helps. Turtle sweet. Turtle like each charge up. Oh no! It's Atlas! We've detected a large energy surge in the center of the ruins. Another unknown device has appeared. Did the device appear along with Atlas? If Atlas is a weapon built by humans, they must have designed a way to stop it. And that machine showing up is no coincidence. Right. Two choices. We try that new device and hope it controls Atlas. Or... Do it the old-fashioned way and fight him head on. No regrets, no looking back. What does Mog think? Hey Mog, what do you think about all this? Um, I think I like Sarah more than I like Noel. Kubo. Ouch. You know I have feelings, right? Yeah, we know. Let's go! Everything must go! Sure wasted their time and hard-earned money making something that big. I don't like seeing materials go to waste like that, but hey, what can I do? I can open up my shop! That's what I can do! Um, I think I can... Uh...
All right. We actually have the capsules. I will take care of it. Yeah. Well, maybe you should just have faith in me. Expect them to just show up right there. Oh, I can't even. I was trying to, um, Contrabits? Oh, the gas fragment. The seep including monsters such as the gas are created by foul sea from living humans. But people who have bathed the sea are unable to fulfill their focus. They are transformed into seep. Places where a foul sea were once active are often infested with large numbers of wandering. The foul sea have also been known to transform weaker humans into sea in masses. These unfortunate victims become solid puppets to their foul sea masters, forced to fight in their defense. Foul sea often uses its power when they are under immediate threat. Unio Mystia. The Norma House Chronicle. Oh. Back in Bonomo Cocoon, there was this weird relic called a Vistage, which had been lifted off Pulse back when Cocoon and Pulse were fighting. Turns out it was an old Pulse temple, and there was a foul sea inside that turned Sarah into a lit sea. It seems crazy to think now that no one thought to check inside before they were. They set up next to our next to our hometown. When Sarah got turned into a thief inside the business. The cocoon foul sea used the incident for their own purposes. Sarah is not a lissy anymore, and the brand is gone from our arm. But she could still, but she's still able to use magic. I wonder if the power just stayed inside her after she was cured, or is it a new? It is it new from somewhere else. Oh, oh, I can't use it here. Oh, wait, we can talk. Hey, Noel, is the Atlas used in some war that happens in the future? Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, I remember this. Are you forgetting stuff? My memories are unreliable. There 
are events I should remember, but my memory is hazy, like I'm seeing them through fog glass. But not this time. I remember this one. There was a war, hundreds of years before I was born. That's when Cocoon crashed in Pulse. Stop joking around. Uh, are you joking? You'll know when I'm telling a joke. Trust me. If we travel to the future, maybe we can stop it. Who's to say what's possible? That could be the reason we're here in the first place. Mm hmm. Let's go. That's a lot of fire. Guys, doing. Aren't you new boy cap? Void beyond. Where are we? A time labyrinth, Kupo. I think we're inside the paradox. Oh, no. We have to figure out the labyrinth and its puzzles before we can get out, Kupo. Void beyond. Harbors extra dimensional spaces known as temporal rifts. To escape a temporal rift, you must unravel the mysteries set forth by the crystals and resolve the presented anomaly. This particular rift features a disappearing floor. Any tile you pass over will fade into nothingness. So think carefully about the um think carefully about the route you must take to collect all the crystals.
Okay. Okay. That's funny. That's pretty funny. That's uh, funny. Anyway. Honestly, I was trying to find a... I was trying to find a site that would allow me to do this a lot. Oh! oh! Oops. I hit give up. I hit the wrong button! I didn't want to give up. God. This game. I know I know how to do the puzzle. I was I just went the wrong way, that's all. Uh, you're supposed to go this way, and I'm here, and I... Anomaly? That's all. See what it does, yeah? Let's. Now let's see that. Let's see what the machine does. Delicate crystal. Great mog wisdom. Time Labyrinth is a work in progress space that its creator couldn't be bothered to finish because of a paradox, Kupo. It can transform it into what it should be by resolving the paradox, Kupo. I'll bet the creator was lazy and irresponsible. Koopa, what? That sounds like me? No, doesn't. <laughs> wow. Got called out for that one, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, man. 